Damn. We've got shit tons of... Oh, wrong one. What's the doctor got to say? I'm curious what the doctor's got to say. A most fascinating opponent, wouldn't you say? Hmm. What did you make of it, Doc? Well, everything it said seems feasible enough. It's true all UGs feature high-level AI these days. Given enough time to adapt and learn, a neural AI could certainly become able to comprehend speech. Hey, and with the right interface, speech and conversation will be possible. But what about it having actual intelligence? John Searle disproved the viability of the Turing test back in 1980. In other words, just because something talks like a person doesn't mean it's really thinking. It could just be following some program designed to make it seem as intelligent as possible. I'm impressed. You seem quite knowledgeable in this field. I had a pretty memorable chat with an AI once, about 10 years <laughs> ago. After that, I did a little reading. Ah, yes, of course. The Patriot AI. I heard of this. Was it actually intelligent, or just programmed to pretend? I'm still not sure. I suppose it depends on how one defines intelligence. For example, many term chess-playing AIs and such as having sectional intelligence. Some in the field believe that sentience, or self-consciousness, is a necessary part of the definition. When you ask if this usually had intelligence, I suspect this is more your criteria? Yeah, of course. Then you could ask how do you define sentience exactly? And on and on and on. Indeed. These terms can indicate a wide variety of meanings depending on one's understanding. Perhaps it is less important to ask if the AI was intelligent or not than to ask how did the AI operate. After all, labels are useful only when they further pursuit of the truth. And that, as you well know, is the goal of all science. Sure, Doc. Thanks. I guess. Don't like that ride, and that was a very interesting discussion about AI and shit. Oh, I bet, I bet wait till I get to new checkpoints. We don't boot you out to a checkpoint to customize. What's Courtney got to say? Oh, just save. I guess. Did, did they? Life signs are nil. Guess I was too late. <sighs> Copy that. Back to the mission, I guess. Thank you very much, Kringles. Get your Dark, Skull, Dark Souls skills on, own the enemy. I wasn't too bad at Dark Souls. In my defense, I was not too bad at Dark Souls. That sucks. I know it's not part of our mission, but I don't like seeing innocence. I was always terrible at parrying, though. Yeah. Always terrible at parrying in Dark Souls. I mean, how many times do you guys see me parry anything in Dark Souls? Twice? Over the course of Dark Souls 1 and 2? Yeah, I, I never parried. So you could not stop them. Well, so be it. Perhaps you've got enough to worry about. Right. I wonder if I um, went and customized now, if it'd put me back to where I saved here. Well, let's try, let's try. Let's try. I've got like 20,000 fucking British Petroleum, so... Got him body. I can afford whatever the fuck I want. Could be Grey Fox. Now let's stick with the original body. Main weapon, the have fun blade. That's expensive. 200,000 for that motherfucker. Reducing the amount of damage taken. Reducing the amount of damage taken seems pretty fucking. That seems pretty good, does that? Fuel cells? Nah, I think I'm alright with that. Skills! Sweep kick. I think I've already- Oh, what's this? The thunder strike. It proves reaction speed in his triceps, enabling him to channel air pressure into a shock wave. That could be fun. Ten thousand BP for a thunder strike? Hmm. Or should I just upgrade my main weapon to do more damage? Absorption. Lowers fuel cell consumption in blade mode. I think I'm alright with those two for the moment. 
Maybe... More damage. More damage can't be a bad thing for a first few upgrades. So I'm going more damage for a first few. Oh, can I can't do one. Is that it for the moment? I guess that's it for the moment. Okay, then. And a health upgrade. Was that the health upgrade? Reduces the amount of damage taken, yeah. Only do one of them for the moment, fair enough. And I've got enough for a skill. I guess, once I get parry in a bit more, maybe aerial parry would be alright, but that's cheap as that. I might go for that thunder strike. I might go for the thunder strike. I'm going for the thunder strike. It's done. Nice. Pretty much used all my fucking points there. Health upgrade, damage upgrade, and... It has reset that little bit. Well, that suck it. I thought the save might have countered that, but no, no worries. Oh dear. Let's just change target, shall we? Next. Yeah, fuck. Ooh, you're lucky I didn't get your shit in mid air. Where's the other guy? There he is. Ah, I did it too late again. Shoot me in the back! Where's the other guy at? You fucking douche! You dead, you! You're a corpse! He's still not dead yet. Now you are. <laughs> Give me your spine, you bastard. There we go. What's your problem, dude? You, you saved my life. Thank you. No worries. Well, holy shit! Give me a decent chunk of fucking change for doing that. The save them all. It was like, just him. Oh, just him. Fair enough. I saved a civilian this time. Well, that worked out quite well. Considering I accidentally um, got booted back to the beginning of that bit, that worked out pretty okay. There was an item box up there somewhere. Could have been worse. You have to do this point. You have to do this um, checkpoint again, but at least here's your reward. There we go. No. Oh, I'm gonna say, give me the fucking rocket launcher. Most likely, it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it. You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. There's a target. Fuck, I've already got my target. Um... That didn't seem right. I want your arm. Just your arm. There we go. Got it. And this spine. Bravo. Excellent work. 
There was classified data embedded in that hand. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. Is there any cat fight going on? Oh, I guess it's locked out for the moment. Seriously, cats? Right now? Whoa. Reached into his skull for his spine there, man. There we go. Seems like I absolutely decimated the first um, commander. And the second one, a little bit more careful with where I was fucking slicing. It's like, they're kind of... Yo, okay, cool. First time, though, must have been some luck involved. Oh, they don't like me messing around with their APC. Shit! Ah, no, no. Stunned like fuck. No, dude, 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 no. No, just trying to kill one to get some fucking electrolytes back. Don't be like that. Don't be like that, guys. No. Man, they're all cluster fucking up. Oh. Fuck, I'm dead! Brian? No! Noob! No. Thought that's what you were going to say then. Noob! <laughs> I got rinsed. Fuck! See if I managed to shoot that accidentally? Alright, I got a new one, like, but still. No, I keep pressing fucking block buttons like it's Dark Souls or some shit. That's what I wanted last time. Right, you bitch. I'm gonna parry you. Oh, okay, did it, what the fuck? No, I'm not doing that right. Oh, come on then, you fucker. The fuck? Get off me! Not double dragon. Fucking grenade. That guy's still alive here as well. What are you gonna do? You gonna bite me? Cause your spine's mine, bro. Any goodies? It's gonna be a letter C. Oh, a B. I'll take a B. Quite happy we'll be there. What's that? A 3D photo frame. Okay. Get out of the box. There is an epic cat fight that's been going on for like 10 minutes now. Oh, thank you very much, TLD. Some actual change, um... Some actual change for that, that save. Some actual change for that save. Tip is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you very much, dude. Some actual change for that save. Oh, may, um, ah, maybe I was a bit delayed with that. Was that when, um... I did my customize, and it took me back to the beginning of that checkpoint, and then I got like, was it 2,000 or 3,000 for the civilian or whatever it was? 
I'm gonna be honest, like it's been the f one of the f few times I can ever remember where the game has backtracked me, or I've backtracked myself accidentally. You know, like accidentally quick loading rather than quick saving. That's been beneficial. Worked out in my favour. Three thousand points. In fact, I can get the aerial. P no, no, no. Better wait till next checkpoint, and then I'll get the aerial power. Well, thank you very much, TLD. There is a waypoint over there somewhere. Ah. Oops, uh, there's it. Oh, right, riding, riding, riding. R cool, cool down. C chill. Right, there we go. No, that, you need that. Wait a minute. Any goodies? That's great. Bro, 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 thank you very much, Black Jock. OTG saving civvies? OTG doing, doing objectives without fail? What happened to the real OTG? Are you an AI from the Patriots? I've done alright so far. To be fair, though, like... I think it's old school OTG confirmed. It sounds like I um, kind of brute forced my way through that Blade Wolf fight. So, no, no, it's, it's still here. It's still here. Still failing. Thank you very much, um, Black Jock. Don't seem happy with you. Long range kiss blow. Dryden, what's happening? Your heart rate spike. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. <laughs> As if we had to fucking fling the screen out of the way. Get out of the way, Doctor Fuck. Cheers, Sanguine. The HDSF archivist. Archivist. Is it archivist or archive? Archivist. Probably archive. Archivist. The archivist. So, OTG, can you tell me which HD stuff you have uploaded to YouTube so I know which ones to download and save? Would be awesome to know because I'm trying to save as much as I can. Also, yes! More Metal Gear Solid. Which HD stuff you have up. Or which HD stuff you have to upload to YouTube? Um. In the remote vicinity of this stream, there will be. Episode 2, basically everything from the Episode 2 stream onwards will come in that kind of order. Except Shovel Knight, that'll come in there somewhere as well. It'll probably be something like um, Episode 2 into Shovel Knight into Metal Gear Solid 4. And then if you look back at the streams from Metal Gear Solid 4 onwards, which I believe was Metal Gear Solid 4 into Spec Ops into this, that'll be the rough order that they go up in YouTube. Roughly. Roughly. Well, there you go, dude. Oh, and uh, while I'm here... Let us customise. What shall we buy? Will it let me upgrade my half fun blood? No. Can I upgrade my life? No. So let's get that aerial parry. In fact, more skills can't be bad. Oh, wait. Sky High. Improves and enabling a special upward thrust with his weapon held in his foot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get all these skills first. Ooh, falling lightning. Sweet. So it seems like more skills you get, the more skills unlock. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get the skills and stuff like that. I'm not really tapping much of the skills yet. I need to... Um, 
absorb some of the combos a bit more. It seems like there's decent replayability, really. Because you could go through it a second time actually knowing what the fuck you're doing with the combos and shit and actually, like, do stuff good, you know? Because, <laughs> I mean, from what I gather on how long to beat, the game's about six, seven hours long. So about two sets. But I don't think I'm going to absorb all the combos and how to do things right in that two sets. I just, I just get, I get this feeling. I don't know why. So what Boris has to say about this. I got a visual on Dolzayev and Mistral. Looked like they were arguing over something. Mistral's heading up the force at the refinery, correct? We're sure on that? Yes, but I'm not sure how good a commander she is. As a fighter? Talented, yes, I know, but... Well, that was Mistral. Well, neither one looked very happy. Maybe she'll withdraw. Oh, I doubt that. She may not like him, but she will follow her orders. She is just the leader on the ground here, I think. Someone else is calling the shots behind cover. All right. But what's the end game here? Say I die and we can't stop them. Then what? Are they even capable of forming a real government? Do they think the people here would support Dolzayev? Hmm. Good questions, Tvarich. History shows it is a much easier thing to take a government than to keep it. An unpopular regime can only ignore the will of the people for so long before they rise up. And trying to do all this with PMC soldiers? Difficult. And very, very expensive. Someone else must be bankrolling this for their own reasons. Someone with very deep pockets. Who stands to benefit the most from all this? Most likely someone with an interest in that refinery. The plant has pipelines connecting with Sochi in Russia and Supsa in Georgia. Crude oil from the Caspian Sea is refined in Sikumi and then sent on to Russia. Oil. I wonder if Dozayev knows he's being used. Then again, I wonder if he'd even care. Talk to you Kevin. Know that, Kev? The woman with Dozayev. That's Miss Trow? Yep. The only female member of the Winds of Destruction. The name is from... A cold, dry, regional wind in France that blows from the Alps down to the Mediterranean. She French? Yep. Born in Algeria, though. It was a French colony until they declared independence in the early 60s. Haha, <laughs> but you already knew that. Yeah. They were the last French colony in Africa. You know your history. Plenty of French colonial families still live there. Bied Noir, they're called. I've heard the term. The main character in that Camus novel, The Stranger, was one. You also find a lot of Algerians who've immigrated to France. Although they put a stop to that a while ago. Yeah. A lot of European countries seem to be clamping down on immigration lately. <laughs> Miss Strahl joined the Foreign Legion to get her citizenship. A woman legionnaire? And not the first. There was one that served in the North Africa campaign during World War II. Anyway, Miss Strahl's been doing PMC work ever since her Legion discharge. We're not sure why she went cyborg. She's officially leading the force at the refinery, but she is also a combatant. Uh, don't have anything on her combat style, but do not underestimate her. The Winds of Destruction are trained killers, all of them. They didn't let her in because of her looks. I don't need a reminder. I won't let my guard down. Yeah, but, um, speaking of her looks, she's got, well, I mean, she, a couple of I mean, huge... Look, just don't get distracted, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you should take your own advice there, Kev. Right. You need to save? Oh, go on then. I was actually wanted to just right talk, back. but... Save complete. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non-combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex-military there take over. Just... I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. They need a better understanding of what they're mixed up in. The laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I thought it saved your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> a 
Oh, come on. I'm not that. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me that was a joke. Raiden, the Mistral woman. Is she truly a full body cyborg? That's what the intel says, at least. Why? You notice something? Indeed. Two somethings, in fact. Based on their movements, her chest region did not appear to be artificial. You can tell that just from what I saw? Indeed. After some <laughs> Indeed. <of> analysis, <laughs> I am 80% certain that is her own natural torso. If it is indeed a cyborg, Jesse, it is the most advanced I have ever seen. Such technology would not come cheap. It would mean whoever is backing Desperado is likely quite wealthy. Probably so. As far as Miss Trial goes, it really doesn't matter to me. Natural, synthetic, man, woman, an enemy is an enemy. Ah, are you not even the least bit curious? After hours and hours of research and staring at Mistral's chest, Doctor has um, come up with the, you know, he's like 80% sure. He's 80% sure that that is a real chest. No fakers. No fakers. Can you hide in the bins? No, not anymore. I get 24 parts though, apparently. So what we got then? Any good? No. Oh, wait, wait, we've got new moves as well. I assume they go to the bottom. They do not, so I have to thunder strike. Left stick, down, up, and X. And sky high. Up, up, and X. Um. Really? Oh, okay, yeah, really. So you got some kind of like launch move there, we're up, up, and X, and then down, up, and X. It's like a fucking thunder blast. Nice. How close is the enemies? Pretty close. Scrooged! Take that. Damn that um. Actually, no, it didn't. Pretty good for um, crowd control, I bet, though. Like, if, it gets, if there's, like, shit tons around, just... What the fuck? I'm stuck. What was that? You have to shit tons of them, just do an old... Thunder burst like that. And what was the other one? Up, up, and... Yeah, up, up. So goody over here somewhere. There it is. And goody over here somewhere. Did, hey, did I pick it up? What dude? Gotta take the goody. 